Todd Dunn here on July 22nd, 2019. I'm aboard my 1936 uh, wooden powerboat Tortuga today and I thought I'd do an update on my leak repair. So let's take a look at things below deck and then have a look at uh, where I am in terms of getting the deck closed up. Here we are below deck. And you can see uh, I've got everything put back together. All the new wood is painted. You saw that earlier. And I happened to be on the boat yesterday when we had a really bad sudden thunderstorm. And I had a couple of drips from right under here, which I was able to trace to some failed caulking on the outside of the boat at the joint between the deck and the cabin house. So I'm going to recalk that today. That'll only take a few minutes. Just have to put some masking tape in, run a bead of caulk, pull the masking tape so that I don't end up with caulk where I don't want it. I did, however, still have a major leak and it turned out to be associated with this port light. About a week ago, we had another big rainstorm and quite a bit of water leaked in and I couldn't see where it was coming from. But being on board during the rain event, I was able to discover exactly what was going on. And it was this port light. Basically, with the port light dogged down, it was dripping at a very steady rate. Not just an occasional drip, but drip, 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 <laughs> like that, as wind blew rain up against the outside of the port. I dogged it down as tight as I could. I even used a pair of pliers to dog it down completely and uh, that didn't stop the leak. So today I'm going to open the port and see what it's going to take to fix that leak. So let's pop this port open, put it up here on the hanger and whoa there's the problem right there. The gasket is broken right there. There's an eighth inch gap. I don't know if you can see that in the light here. Uh, probably not, but there's an eighth inch gap in the gasket and that's right where it was leaking. That gasket has given up after only 83 years, so I'm a little disappointed. But, you know, sometimes things do fail even when they're good quality. So obviously that's gotten dried out and shrunk and broken. So, how about fixing this gasket? I need to do it quickly because we have about an inch of rain forecast for tonight. So what I think I'm going to do is pull that gasket out. I'm going to rotate it around so the brake is at the top. And then I'm going to use a caulk of some sort to seal that up at the brake so that uh, it hopefully won't leak. And by moving the brake and the gasket to the top of the port, uh, I probably won't have any more leaks there because the water was actually pooling against the port on the outside with the south wind blowing rain up against the south side of the boat here. And that allowed water to run in there and just go right through that gasket like it wasn't there. Because for an eighth of an inch, it isn't there. Anyway, I'm going to pop that gasket out and see what's going to be involved in moving the brake. The gasket came right out and uh, you can see that it's clearly broken. So I'll put it back in, but with that brake up at the top. So that should solve the immediate leak problem. And then what I'll do is put some silicone rubber in here just to close up the gap. And that should basically fix this uh, leaking gasket. So I'm going to have to go buy some silicone and put that back in. And before I continue though, I'm going to go up there and clean out the groove that the gasket goes in by wiping it down with a paper towel and maybe a little alcohol. So I'm going to do that now. The other small leak I have is right along the base of the cabin house. And it, the caulking there right up forward appears to be cracked. So I'm going to put some tape down uh, on the edge of the deck and also on the bottom of the cabin house there. And we will then put down some caulk along the base of the cabin house running aft for about 
eight or nine inches to hopefully seal that up. And that should close everything up. So that's uh, where we are in terms of filling out the last few leaks. This is, however, a difficult area to work because clearly I can't stand beside the boat. It's kind of a pain to turn the boat around for a five minute caulk job. So I'll just uh, have to climb out on the side deck and work out there, maybe with the safety line going up onto the cabin top to a handrail and try to get that uh, sealed up. You can't really see it in the camera, but the caulk down there at the base of the cabin house is cracked and that's where we're getting some leaking. Okay, I've taped it and I put tabs on the tape so it'll be easy to pull off and then crawled out there and put in a line of caulk. That should seal up the gaps in there. And in just a couple minutes, I'll pull that tape before the caulk starts to set up so that I won't have uh, the tape tending to pull the caulk off. And this caulk is 3M4200 because that's what I have. I'd prefer to use 4000, but I don't have any right now. So we'll pull that off and uh, do any cleanup that's necessary with a little alcohol, which is the solvent for 3M4200. Okay, time to pull that tape. Okay, I've pulled the tape. I've got a nice clean caulk line that should seal everything up. I might put a little caulk right down in the corner at the bottom. Spot I seem to have missed, but that shouldn't be too hard. I'll just put a little on my finger and splooge it in there, and that will be that. I've got to sand this area out, uh, but it's very difficult to work in there, so I'll probably wait until fall to clean all this up and do my painting. So that, with one more dab of, of caulk right up in the bottom of the corner, should do the job. Okay, that's all done. That should be sealed up now. And I also caulked a little gap up here between the outer trim and the side of the uh, deck where it slopes up. That probably wasn't leaking into the boat since that's a, a joint between the top of the planking and just a piece of trim. But I uh, just put a little 4200 in there, hopefully to close that up so that there's no possibility of leaking. So all the leaks in here should now be plugged up. And they were very minor. During the thunderstorm, which lasted about half an hour, I probably got five or six drops coming in from down here. And this should uh, pretty much solve that problem. Now let's get below and finish the work on that port light. So what I'm going to do on this port light gasket is just put a dab of 4200 on each end. It just has to close up about a sixteenth of an inch. Then I'll put the gasket back in so that that break is at the top and uh, we'll be done. Okay, the gasket is back in there, but with the break up at the top, Maybe, I don't know if you can because of the light in here, you can see that there is a little white line up there where there's 4200 joining it. I wiped it off on the edge so that uh, hopefully it won't stick to the port light when I close it. I'll let it cure out for a little while before I do that. So that should fix the leak in the port light, which was a major leak when wind was blowing rain against the port light. And was letting in a lot of water in the course of the 30 minute thunderstorm it probably let in the better part of a cup of water because the wind was blowing the rain right against that port. Water was pooling up at the base of the port and just running right through that crack in the gasket. So that's fixed. I had the 4200 on hand so it didn't cost me anything except for the little tiny bit of alcohol I used to clean things up. So that's that. Now let's go take a look at the deck and see where we are up there. Okay, here's the deck from inside the boat. And what I have to do is put another coat of fairing compound on, let it cure, and then sand it out. And hopefully that will fill the imperfections that I don't know if you can see in there because of the light, but they're there. And uh, we fill those imperfections. Uh, after it rains tonight and tomorrow, perhaps on Wednesday, I can sand that out and get a coat of paint on it and I'll paint the whole area white initially to uh, 
provide me with my boundary color and then after I get some paint I will repaint the non-skid paint in there with a green I think although I'm thinking I might change it the whole deck to a buff color I'm not sure anyway so that's where we are right now anyway I think I have pretty much sealed up all of the leak areas so the system should be completely watertight now during the thunderstorm yesterday I only got a few drops from the leaks uh, in that little well on the side deck where it meets the piece of uh, bulkhead that I put in so it really wasn't much just four or five drops over 30 minutes and recalking that seam should have fixed that and the other thing which was letting in the bulk of the water and probably has been for quite a while was the port light which I'll switch over to we'll take a look at it okay as I showed you a second ago that port light gasket is back in with the brake up at the top where water is very unlikely to leak in and I put a little 3200 in there to uh, seal that gap so that even if water does somehow blow up there it shouldn't leak in so anyway I think at this point I have completely uh, eliminated the leaks at least I hope I have fingers crossed okay, as far as uh, work inside I'm probably gonna extend this piece of ceiling here right here and I'm also going to cut out a little bit of the top of this stringer where it's gotten a little punky. Don't think I'll have to cut out much, maybe three quarters of an inch down. And I'll epoxy in a Dutchman to fill the gap. And that will strengthen that right up. I'll cut scarfs on the edge. It'll go in pretty well. It shouldn't be a problem. So that uh, pretty much wraps up what I'm going to do inside. That's my repair work for today. I'm very close to being finished. I'm going to put on another coat of fairing compound in the next 15 minutes or so. And uh, then we'll let that cure. And as I said, probably on Wednesday, because it's supposed to rain all night tonight and a good deal of tomorrow, I will uh, sand that out. And hopefully I won't have to put a third coat of fairing compound on and I can get the first coat of paint on. But, you know, in the worst case, I'll put a third coat of fairing compound on and I won't get the paint on until Thursday. So anyway, that's where we are. And this repair saga is coming to an end. I will show some pictures after I get everything painted out and you can see how the final repair looks. So thanks for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that notification bell. So hope you enjoyed it. And now I can move on to fixing something else on this 83-year-old wooden powerboat.